Nate. Yeah, Max, set me straight. What uh, what kind of ad do you want to run? Well, it's hard to let people know you're willing to draw porn of their characters on like a billboard, you know? And why is that? It's too much information to cram on there. People would <clears throat> crash their cars trying to figure out what the hell I've been selling. So I thought a radio ad would be a good idea. Especially since I'm having trouble finding people to sell my art to since I moved here. Right, sense. But we don't really do ads ah, for I'm adult back. services. Then Thanks, make an Jesus. exception. Come on, you said it yourself. I do great work. You do, but that doesn't change the rules. Those rules are made up. But we don't want to advertise someone drawing porn on our station. What do you have to say to that? I have fifteen thousand dollars. Hey guys, my name is Gavin Graham, but online you might know me better as Twilight Twinkle Esquire. I'm a furry artist, and I'm taking commissions! Furries of Edenson! I know it's hard finding people out there who understand, but I understand! I understand you've got thousands of dollars, and you want oh, art of your persona, yeah. yipping like there's no tomorrow! I draw it all! Bacon play, roadkill fantasies, shaving the skunk, or if you want, literally your skunk character being shaved! There are no Oof. limits! I'm so goddamn Ow. rich from taking commissions from furries that I don't even care about blowing 15 grand on this ad! I know you've got the cash and you're ready to pay up! So break out that debit card and give me a call! 1555 Yipping! That phone number wasn't cheap, so neither is my art. My rates start at $2,000 for a sketch on the back of a napkin. And frankly, I'm lowballing that price while I'm here in Arizona. So you better get in while you can. Yiff yiff on, verbals! A brainless host and angry producer calls from a town of simpletons. It's KDTF. All right, citizens of Edenson, this is Desert Talk Forum, the premier talk radio station here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I'm your host, James Clark, ready to take your calls and share your burdens. So let's go to the phones. Line two, you're on KDTF. Hi, James. My name is Melissa. And before you start, yes, I've heard all the jokes. J which jokes? Don't play stupid with me. I'm calling today about something very serious. I don't have time to mess around. Uh huh. OK, well, what's on your mind, Melissa? Again, you don't have to say it like that. Anyway, I, I, the state of Arizona has tons of great shopping malls, right? Well, strip malls, but sure. Strip malls, then. So, have you ever seen one of these people breaking car windows in because it's kind of hot out and there's something inside the car? Oh, what, like pets? Yeah, it, it drives me crazy when I see people do that. Exactly! Well, that's what we're all about. I, I represent a collection of concerned guy with moms the who want to put a class. stop to this reckless behavior. I mean, hey, that's that's pretty cool, I guess. I'm confused, though. Are there a lot of moms out there affected by this? Tons! I mean, okay, so there I am at the nail salon. It's barely 109 degrees out. With wind chill, it was probably 106. I finished up my manicure. It's been like an hour, so I tip the girl a dollar, and I'm ready to get on with my day when I hear glass shattering outside! Jesus. Th this happens a lot? Almost every time I go out! Is, is your nail salon in a bad part of town? Not at all! It's like a mile from a news inn! Huh. I, I mean, maybe I just don't spend enough time in a nail salon, but I didn't know this is such a widespread problem. And you have no idea how Shit. annoying it is to scrape all the little pieces of glass out of your backseat right after getting your nails done! What? Hang on, what? What? Oof. What do you mean, what? Are you saying your car is the one with the broken window? Yes! So you're locking your dog in the car? No, I lock my daughter in there. Oh, my mistake. That's even better. You know what? Crap. It sounds like you aren't coming at this with an open mind. I thought you talk radio hosts and your hosts were all about being the voice of the people. Hmm, well, so there I'm is the people, James, death. and I'm absolutely sick of this. Oh, so what? You want it to be illegal to help little babies and puppies locked inside hot cars? Yes! Do you know how much it costs to get one of those windows replaced? No! Well, a lot. Okay, so stop locking your kid in the car! I have to! What am I supposed to do? Take her into the nail salon with me? What? Yes! That's what you're supposed to do! Well, if the little twerp would stop asking me so many goddamn questions, maybe I would! But all she does is yap, 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 but it's absolutely impossible to deal with! She never shuts up! She never shuts up! You don't get it. Do you have kids? Nah, uh, kids aren't really on the table for me right now. I've only been with a girl I'm dating now for a couple months, and... I haven't really had any luck other than her in the last 11 years. I'm not surprised. Mission accomplished. With extreme prejudice. Good God, that poor kid. Hopefully she gets to grow up and find out her mom's an idiot before she gets cooked alive in that pre-owned SUV. <sighs> Alright, it's definitely time to take a little break, I think, so uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Is your future shining a little too bright? Do you still think you can have it 